Welcome to the exam course for business administration and sociology. In this exam course in managerial economics, we're going to focus on these topics. So this is of course the most exam relevant topics that you should recognize from your lecture plan, right? So these are the ones that I'm going to focus on on this course. But of course, I'll put my main focus on the ones that's most difficult, most challenging at the exam and put less focus on what's seldom comes at the exam, for example, or what's easy. So if you have like an easy subject or a subject that seldom comes, I put that into the extra exercise sheet I've given you. So the exercise sheet and the extra exercise sheet will cover the whole content. But the course I go through in the videos, focus on what's most difficult. So let's look at it. So we have the demand analysis, of course, with the consumer theory and the elasticity theory. We have the demand and supply with the perfect competition model, demand intersecting supply with the market equilibrium. We have the cost the optimization theory, the production theory, which is the foundation for understanding managerial economics. Then we have the what is called the easy competition forms or the simple competition forms, perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic competition. And then we have the more difficult ones, sometimes also called complex optimization, which is oligopoly with the king demand curve or pricing practices, you know, when you have two markets taking uniform prices or different prices. These two comes almost, one of them will come almost every year and will be the challenging part of your exam. So I'll put extra emphasis on these two subjects and I'll both solve them in Excel. I'll solve them on the board. I'll do illustrations in Excel. I'll do illustrations in the board. I'll give you good uh, Excel recipe sheets where you can just like plot in the numbers and see logically how to solve it. So I hope after the course that you feel that I've really covered these difficult areas for you. Then we have the game theory, which is a quite funny theory, which is nice to know. It's very relevant in practice also. We'll also go through that. Also comes quite often at the exam, actually. And we have capital budgeting, which doesn't come that often at the exam, but it's still in your content. I have an extra exercise for that with a good solution. So going through this over here, I'll just now cover the topics, right? And we'll go through them all either on the video or in the extra exercises. I don't know if I said welcome, but if I didn't, then welcome to the course. Theory, math, and Excel. These are three main competences that you gotta have to get a good grade in mental economics. So we'll go through them all during the course. For example, if I do a math, like an equation solving that on the board here, while I'm doing it, I'm also going to tell you a little about the theory behind it. And for example, if I go through an Excel um, exercise for you, while I'm going through it, I'm also explaining the math behind it and explaining the theory behind it. So what I want you to have the benefit of this course is that you understand all the topics, but you understand them both from an theory angle, a math and equation angle, and you can solve them and illustrate them in Excel. That, that's my ambition here. So I just wanted to show you what my ambition is for you to benefit from this course. So how am I going to do that? Here we have the course content. So the course content with the PDF documents or the course exercises, those are the ones that I go through on the video. On top of that, I put in some extra exercises and quite a lot this year actually, I'm putting some extra exercises that you're supposed to solve after going through the main exercises. So try to solve them first before you look at the solution in the back. That's my good advice for you because if you don't do that, you don't get a very good training out of it, right? Of course, we're going to use Excel extensively at the uh, at this course, so remember also to activate the solver. In the back of the exercise sheet, there's like a guide for you to activate the solver in Excel. So the solver is like, uh, 
It's like gold seek on steroids. I would say it's like it's better than gold seek, right? So it's very good to know the solver. If you don't know the solver in Danish, it's problem løser. So if you don't know it, look in the exercise sheet, see how to activate it, and I'll show you during the course how it can help you. Okay, so here are some advices I'll want to give you how to get full benefit out of this course. Watch the videos chronologically. Why? Because I built up knowledge. So I make references from one video, from one subject to another, and those references are lost if you just skip around the course, right? If you start with video five, and then you go to video six, and then you go to video 17, don't, don't do that. Just go through the course chronologically. Then you'll get full benefit of the course and you'll see my logic. So for example, when I go through oligopoly and the king demand curve, I build on knowledge of the demand curve that I introduced up here. So if you go directly down there, maybe you will, you'll get full benefit if you know what I went through up here. But to be sure, I would like you to just go through it as you see the exercises before you in the exercise sheet. So these two are PDF documents and these are Excel sheets. Good. Solve yourself at the same time or before. I could also have written or before. So why I'm saying that, if this were an attendance course, a physical attendance course, this would like be logical, right? You're sitting in a classroom, auditorium, and while I'm teaching down at the board, you're writing your notes, you're doing it yourself. Some students though, they react differently when it comes to online learning. Instead of being active, doing the equation themselves, doing the Excel themselves, they become passive. They just look at the videos. Don't do that. You won't get full benefit out of this course if you're not active. You don't learn Mandel economics by just looking at me solving it. So my best advice for you is to act the same as if this were an attendance course. Instead of me deciding where we're going to meet, when we're going to meet, then it's an online course, you decide, but remember to be active. Solve it yourself while you see the videos. If you know the answer before you see the video, it could also be a great thing, great good thing for you to try to solve it before you press play and see the video. So this is like a very important advice for you if you want to get extra benefit or full benefit out of this course. Of course, how you do it is up to you technically. So you could have like two screens, for example, if you want to play my videos on your tablet while you're doing your notes on your laptop, or if you have a big screen, you can like put split screen, for example, or you can do hand notes while you watch the videos. And that's up to, up to you. So find a method that is good for you, but be active while you're seeing the videos. It will take you about 15 hours to complete this course. And that is in all. That is with your breaks, while you pause the video, while you do the notes yourself, while you train extra exercises, and so on and so forth. So that's the whole course, 15 hours. It would have taken me 15 hours to go through this if it were an attendance course. So that's including while I write on the board, while you write your notes, it's including your lunch break and so on and so forth. So this is not like the sum of all the video minutes, right? This is the sum of what I want you to use, the sum of time that I want you to use on this course, that I want you to use solving these exercises while you see the video, solving these exercises and comparing it to, to the solution notes. Right, so two to three days is what I would recommend that you invest in this course, right? So five hours a day, six, seven max hours a day, Remember to take a big break in the middle of the day with like an hour break or so on and so forth, or like a 10 minute break and a 10 minute break per hour. I would also recommend that. I also do that at my attendance courses because you would want your brain just to relax a little before you go to the next video, before you go to the next exercise. So you have access now, that's apparent, right? You have access now and you will have access right until the exam date. 
So don't worry, you have full access to the course, to the videos, to the material, to the Excel sheets, all until the exam. And if, if, I hope that doesn't happen, if you fail the exam, of course, we'll renew your access until the retake. You just gotta write to us, info at aspirit.dk, write, unfortunately, I failed the exam or something like that. I'm going to the retake. Please give me access to the videos again, to the course again, and then we'll give you access without you having to pay anything for the retake, right? So remember that. One last remark before you start the course is about the questions. Ask questions below the videos. So when you watch a video, for example, with the King Demand Curve or the pricing practices, and you have a question, first, watch the whole video, because maybe I'll answer that question you have later in that video. So first, write the question down, watch the rest of the video. If you still have that same question, if you didn't feel it was answered in that video, just look at the next videos, if the, if the subject there will maybe will answer your question. If it's not, please ask the question below the video. You're very welcome to ask questions and I'll actually answer them. So you just post a question below the video, then I answer, and then all participants of the course will get benefit out of your question and my answer. And that actually differentiates this course from an attendance course. In most attendance courses, few students actually raise their hand to ask us questions. Usually they come down in the break and ask me questions at attendance courses. And then it's only the ones that come down in the break that actually get my answer. Here, we can get online learning up and running and knowledge sharing through your questions. So the only thing you gotta do is ask the question below the video and please do it so like if you have a question for a monopoly you answer ask it below the video about monopoly if you have a question about pricing practices you ask it below the video of pricing practices and not like mixing it all together right so ask the question right below the relevant video and i promise you i'll answer it i answer so many questions per day Usually actually answer them within an hour, but the same day I'll answer them, right? So don't be afraid, just ask the questions. So this is the full, what I had to say about this exam course. I've used so much time on getting this exam course ready for you, covering so many exercises, both on video, both on solutions, giving you Excel sheets, giving you my best advice. I really hope that you get the full benefit out of this course. And I want, just want to say to you, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much for attending my course. Thank you.